So hello guys, I'm very sorry about the technical problem but the most important thing is we are here. So uh, magandang umaga, tanghali, gabi sa buong mundo. So yesterday nagluto tayo ng uh, Italian dish which is yung carbonara. I hope you like it. But um, uh, today, uh, magluluto naman tayo ng isang Filipino dish. So uh, before anything else, narinig nyo po ba ako ng clear? So I just want to check my, uh, my uh, sound. So um, yes, today magluluto tayo ng bistek Tagalog. So everyone loves bistek Tagalog. But um, uh, today, we're not gonna use some uh, beef, no? Ang gagamitin natin ay... Ang gagawin natin ay bistek light. So gagamit tayo ng isang vegetable which I really love. So um, uh, I'm going to use uh, talong or yung ating eggplant. So uh, sa mga hindi nakakalam, isa ito sa napakagandang alternative sa meat. So para sa mga vegetarian or yung uh, mga vegan pwede natin i-substitute ang talong sa meat. So, ito yung gagamitin natin today. What I'm gonna do is, I will just cut it, cut this portion. No? So, uh, magandang magandang araw sa inyo lahat. <laughs> I am going to cut this just like this. So, pahaba. So, again, pag gumagamit ng knife, be careful as as always. So, uh, hiniwa ko siya pahaba. And uh, I'm going to cut it uh, into uh, like stripes, no? So, let's start. So, ganito siya. Parang fries. Alright? I'm going to cut it like this. So, Awesome. So, so sa mga nakapag-try ng carbonara yesterday, ano sa tingin nyo yung recipe? Masarap ba? So, just cut it like this. And kung meron naman kayo yung uh, talong na pahaba, lalo sa Pilipinas, pwede yung gamitin nyo kasi maraming klase ng uh, eggplant. Cut it like this. Awesome. Binabati ko pala yung aking mother sa Pilipinas, si Naila Katanghal and uh, my sister in China. Of course, Vince is the first one here in our live. So, uh, maraming maraming salamat. Alright. So, uh, kinata natin yung ating eggplant like this. Alright? So, gagawin ko ngayon, kukuha ko na isang bowl. Since ang gagamitin natin na eggplant, no, gusto natin na i-improve pa yung lasa no, ng eggplant. No? So, ang aking gagawin, mag a ko ng mixture. No? So, parang i-marinate natin yung ating eggplant para mas lalo pa siya maging lasa. So, uh, ang ginagawa natin is parang imimimik natin yung lasa ng ng beef. Alright? So, itong aking marinade ay based on my experience from um, or from my travel when I was in China that they always I, th that they always uh, use this marinade for uh, eggplant. No? So, uh, kukuha ko ngayon ng uh, one clove of garlic. Just cut it like that. And uh, chat up natin siya. Okay, since uh, we are cooking Filipino food, so gusto natin yung garlic, eh, di ba? One clove of garlic, just in there. And, maglalagay ako ng konting uh, soy sauce. Not too much. A little bit of olive oil. I'll add some salt, just a little bit. Kakrak ako ng counting chili. Konti lang. Just to give a little bit of kick. And ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na nagustuhan ko sa, sa China. Uh, they use cumin. Especially for the barbecue. You know? 
uh, sa street. So, yung sister ko, alam niya yan, yung smell ng cumin. No? Pag nagdadaan kami before work, so, nandun yung mga vegetable, yung meat. So, ginigrill nila yun. And uh, nilalagyan nilang maraming cumin. So, I'm gonna put some cumin with uh, my uh, eggplant. So, about uh, two to three tablespoons. All right? And, uh, syempre, gusto ko yung uh, barbecues, barbecue taste. A little bit of uh, smoky and uh, sweetness, no? So, maglalagay ako ng, uh, I'm sorry, not this one, barbecue mix, okay? Any barbecue mix will do. So, ito yung available sa akin, yung uh, Mama Sita's na barbecue mix. Kasi alam nyo, yung, uh, yung eggplant, kailangan para mamimik natin yung meat, meat taste, meaty taste, kailangan ipack natin siya with uh, flavor. So, uh, with these condiments, mas lalo pa nating ma-enhance yung lasa na talong. So, a little bit of oregano. I'm gonna add some more uh, barbecue mix kasi parang hindi enough dun sa ating uh, talong. So, ang sarap, ang sarap nito. And, uh, okay, haluin natin maigi. Kasi gusto ko yung uh, smoky, no? So, uh, taste natin. Tikman natin. Hi to uh, cook, cook with M's. Wow, sobrang sarap. So, uh, I think I'm gonna put or I'm gonna add some more uh, pepper. Kasi hindi pa enough yung ating uh, punchy taste. Iba kasi yung uh, pepper sa uh, pepperoncino, no? So, uh, yun yung nagkulang sa atin. And uh, kung gagamit kayo ng Mama Sita's uh, barbecue marinade, wag na kayo mag-add ng sugar. Kung gagamit naman kayo ng ibang marinade, uh, tikman nyo muna. And uh, kung gusto nyo ng just a little bit of sweetness, pwede kayo mag-add ng brown sugar. Okay? So maraming nabibili sa supermarket ng mga barbecue marinade. So, uh, lagay na natin yung ating talong. So, let's incorporate the mixture to our talong. So, mamarinade lang talaga natin siya. Wow! I'm not gonna put everything na hiniwa ko. It's too much. Alright. So, kita nyo. Ina-incorporate natin siya maigi. Kung meron pa kayong mga herbs sa bahay, whatever available, you can just put it there. Kung meron kayong laurel as well, just put it. Mas maraming herbs, mas masarap. So, it will depend on your uh, personal taste. Um, I, I, I was putting uh, basil. Kasi yun yung available sa amin. So, okay. So, review ng ating uh, marinade mix sa mga bagong pasok. I put some soy sauce, so um, salt and pepper, oregano, dried oregano, and naglagay ako ng uh, barbecue mix, whatever barbecue mix will do, and um, ano ako? one clove of garlic, and some pepperoncino to give a little bit of kick to our mixture. So, marinate natin siya for at least 5-10 uh, uh, minutes. Set aside muna natin siya. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. And for watching, so while our uh, while our eggplant is resting, gagamit ako kasi ang gagamitin ko guys, ang gagawin ko, if I fry ko yung ating uh, eggplant, alright? So hindi ko siya gigrill. Kung gusto niyo grill, pwede rin. But I want to have a crunchy texture to our eggplant. So ang ginawa ko, minarinit ko siya para ma-enhance yung lasa, and then Iko-coat natin siya with flour and if a fry para makagawa tayo ng crunchy texture. Alright? And uh, I want to um, preserve he, uh, its uh, texture kasi pagka hindi natin siya finry or uh, kinote ng, uh, ng flour, lalambot at may tendency na masira yung ating uh, 
eggplant while we are cooking it or while, while we are sauteing our eggplant. So my mixture will be half, the ratio will be half of flour, all-purpose flour. And I am going to use some corn flour, all right? So the ratio will be 50-50. So um, you can use either corn flour or potato starch. Personally, I prefer to use uh, potato starch kasi mas nagiging crunchy yung uh, ating pinafry with uh, potato starch. No? But okay lang din naman kung uh, corn starch ang gagamitin. Alright, so uh, gonna mix our uh, flour mixture. So ang ratio ko today is 50-50, uh, alright? Don't forget. Kung gusto nyo ng mas maraming potato starch, it's okay. So, okay na yung ating, hold on for a while. Okay, so okay na yung ating flour mixture. Luin lang natin siya maigi. So, hindi na ako maglalagay ng salt and pepper dito sa ating flour, ano? Kasi pag naglagay pa tayo dito, and plus yung sauce, plus yung marinade, masyadong aalat yung ating bistek. Bistek, right? So, hindi na siya magiging light. <laughs> so, right now, tapos na tayo dito, and nagmamarinate pa rin tayo ng ating eggplant. Ang gagawin natin, so, pwede na nating gawin yung ating sauce. Okay? So, uh, with the sauce, magchachap ulit ako na garlic no siguro gawit ako ng uh, 3 to 4 cloves of garlic all right sabi ko nga sa inyo crush muna natin bago ipil para madali siyang mabalatan kasi pagka naka napitpit na siya super daling balatan so, okay Hi to uh, Rosalie official. Good PM, Chef. Good PM to you, Miss Rosalie. And sa lahat ng mga nanonood today, sino dito yung mahilig sa bistek? What's your Filipino food? Uh, favorite Filipino food, guys? I really love this. Especially, ano, pagka lunchtime. So, I don't know why, but I feel uh, bistek is very refreshing. I don't know why. So, mapaparami ka na ng rice. So, gagamit ako ng, sa pagsute, gagamit ako ng spring onion. It's sweeter. Panggisa. So, konti lang. Chop lang natin siya. Alright. So, I'm gonna heat up my pan. I'm gonna add some, uh, you can use some uh, normal oil, vegetable oil. Joel, Galinato, hello sa iyo. Salamat sa panonood and Kong Yan vlog in UK. Alright, I'm gonna put our garlic. Hindi ko na pala na chop yung aking garlic. So chop natin yung garlic and onion. do this. Saute lang natin siya. Yum! <laughs> Hazel Balaño, sorry late po ako. Ano po ang ano pong part ng beef ang ginamit niyo? <laughs> so, um, it's a good question, Miss Hazel. Uh, hindi po ako gumamit ng beef so instead, gumamit ako ng eggplants. So that's why it's called um, bistec light. Kasi walang beef yung ating bistec today. So I'm going to fry it later. So minarinate natin siya with barbecue mix and some uh, soy sauce and some uh, condiments like uh, cumin and uh, oregano. 
So, pababanguhin lang natin yung ating si, uh, sinosote, yung ating garlic and onion. Nice. So, um, ngayon naman, pe-prepare ko yung ating sibuyas para mamaya. Yung julienne para yung pang toppings natin. So, cut lang natin siya. Ang bango. I'm going to add some soy sauce na to our sauce. Crack some pepper. And just a pinch of salt. Kasi ma maalat na yung soy sauce. So, konting-konti lang. Ngayon, magsusqueeze ako na ng lemon. Pwede kayong gumamit ng calamansi or lime. Or uh, kung wala, suka na lang. Diba? I love, I love the Sicilian uh, lemon. Wow. So, yan. Ngayon, set aside lang natin siya kasi magpa-fry tayo ng eggplant. Sa so, tatapusin natin yung cooking temp niya mamaya. Or yung cooking time, sorry. Let's heat up our oil. Vegetable oil, of course. Ay, uh, nagutom na naman si Kong yan. So, pa-shout out naman dyan. Watching from Qatar, Rosie Trisbe. Tisbe. So, um, ngayon lang, i-coat na natin yung ating eggplant. Wow, this is really nice. So, ganito siya, no? Coat lang natin siyang maigi. And then we'll fry it. Nice. So, one batch at a time para hindi masyadong uh, crowded yung ating uh, mixture, no? Habang inaantay natin itong ating uh, oil, cut ko na yung ating sibuyas. Ang sarap nito pag maraming sibuyas, no? Sino sa inyo yung mahilig sa white onion? Ako ang hilig ko kasing lagay yung, yung uh, red onion. I don't know, kasi uh, gusto ko yung kanyang sweetness. Very delicate. And yung kanyang color. Pag pinlate. So, very nice. So, ready na yung ating toppings. Ayo, let's fry our eggplant. Make sure na yung inyong temperature ng uh, mantika ay hindi masyadong mainit. No? Hindi yung sobrang init. Para dahan-dahan yung pagluluto natin sa eggplant. So, by batch, okay? Pag nagpiprito, huwag masyadong punong-puno. Kasi pag pinuno masyado, tendency, bababa yung temperature ng ating oil. So, uh, magiging soggy yung ating piniprito. So, be careful and uh, by batch. Be patient. Okay. 
Wow, very, very nice. I can smell all the herbs and the spices that we put sa ating uh, eggplant. Hi to uh, Mads Helen Chef. Nag-try po ako nagluto ng eggplant pizza. Wow, pizza. Here, we also have uh, eggplant pizza. It's called uh, parmigiana. And uh, we also use it, or we also cook it like uh, pizza. So yung toppings niya is uh, like parmigiana. And it's very nice. So, um, alam mo naman yung mga Pilip sa ating mga Filipinos, uh, malapit tayo sa, sa eggplant. No? Kasi yan yung uh, pinakamadaling uh, hanapin ingredient sa atin sa Pilipinas. Hi to Ravendale. Flip natin yung ating eggplant. Yan. Ang sarap, ang sarap dito. Alam mo yun, uh, uh, may uh, a little bit of crunchy taste doon sa ating, uh, crunchy texture sa ating uh, bistik. So, uh, si August 49, sabi niya, ano yung niluluto natin today? So, nagluluto tayo, nagluluto tayo ng bistik light, which is gumamit tayo ng eggplant as alternative for our uh, meat or uh, beef, no? So, uh, minarinate natin siya with some uh, condiments, barbecue sauce, and barbecue marinade, and uh, cumin. And then, pina-fry natin siya ngayon. So, uh, make sure na nag-ready kayo ng uh, uh, plate with the uh, kitchen towel para i-absorb natin yung mga excess oil. Kasi ang, uh, ang eggplant ay parang sponge. So, uh, nag absorb siya ng maraming oil. And we don't want that to our dish. Sarap. Uh, parang ano na siya, oh. Uh, fries. Parang talong fries. <laughs> oh, ito siya, guys. And uh, next batch. I'm going to coat some more. Para ito yung last batch natin. So itong ating natirang mix. Ito guys, huwag nyo itatapon. Alright? Kasi isasama natin siya mamaya sa ating sauce. Kasi very, very tasty ito. So, yun yung pagkakamali minsan ng uh, mga home cooks or uh, sometimes uh, chefs. No, sometimes. I'm not in general. Na minsan yung mga natitirang sauce or yung mga, mga drippings ay tinatapon. Hindi dapat tinatapon yung mga drippings kasi nandun lahat no, ng lasa na kailangan natin para sa dish. And naglilip ng ating dishes. Okay. Let's add this. Sana may natututunan kayo sa akin every day, ha? At least, uh, may pumapasok ng konti kahit pa paano. Uh, Chef, what's the next recipe para makapag-prepare naman? Kung yan. Um, next recipe? Wala pa. <laughs> but uh, I will uh, keep you updated tonight. I will uh, post my uh, live for tomorrow para makasabay ka kung gusto nyo sumabay. Sa pagluluto. Okay? So, uh, Chef, ano sangkap ng flour for coating? So, uh, ito pong ating flour ay 50-50. Uh, ratio of 50% uh, all-purpose flour and 50% corn flour or potato starch. But sabi ko sa inyo, yung aking uh, personal uh, na gusto ay yung uh, personal preference ay yung uh, potato starch kasi mas nagiging mas crunchy siya but it's all up to you kung corn starch or potato starch so um, I hope you're enjoying guys baka may mga questions please feel free to 
uh, put it on our uh, live chat. And the mga greetings. Don't forget to... Um, Mad Salem, eggplant itself may oil then. Yes, it's true. Every vegetable has oil. No? So, uh, kaya nga tayo may vegetable oil, di ba? So, lahat ng uh, egg, uh, vegetables may oil content. So, we just want to uh, take out the excess oil from frying na hindi natin kailangan or we don't want it to our dish. Kasi may baka maging masyadong oily. I don't like. I don't like too much oil. And uh, itong niluluto natin, although it's a Filipino food, okay, hindi ako gumagamit ng betsin, guys. Kasi ang betsin is, yes, uh, nagpapasarap yan, but uh, it's not really good for our health. So, it's my personal uh, preference again. No? Kung uh, gusto nyo gumamit ng betsin, why not? I'm not uh, forcing you not to use it, but uh, I'm just saying too much use of uh, betsin is not good. So, can I use coconut oil for frying? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, you can you can use coconut oil, whichever oil you prefer, all right? So it's even healthier. Coconut oil is nice. Or if you don't like to fry, so ang sinasabi ko sa inyo guys, finry natin siya that today to have some extra texture to our bistec, to our talong. Kasi pag hindi natin siya finry and sinote natin siya, it's too soft and uh, may tendency na magkasira-sira yung ating uh, eggplant. So, when you fry it, we just want the crunchy texture outside. So, yun ang aking uh, reason why I fry it. But kung gusto nyo ng grill or mas lighter than this, grill it and then saute it with the sauce. Okay? Yes, so to yan, chef. Hindi maganda sa health ang veggie. Yes, it's true. It's true, guys. I, I'm honest. <laughs> so, uh, pwede tayong kumuha ng umami taste from other components. Like, yung sinasabi ko sa yung anchovies, patis, yan, yung ating mga umami, cheese, like parmesan cheese, yung ating ginamit na barbecue marinade, isa, isa rin yung uh, component na umami. Okay? So, doon tayo kukuha ng umami taste. Pag kumuha tayo ng umami taste sa, for example, uh, sa, ano ba, brand na yun? So, hindi na ako sasabi ng brand. Basta sa betchin, one type of betchin. Parang magic. It's bad. It's really bad. Anyway, so uh, matatapos na tayo dito sa ating uh, talong. I'm done. Okay. Letting set aside my uh, pan. Let's go back to our sauce. Okay, I'm gonna put back our marinade sa ating sauce. I will heat up. And syempre, ibabalik natin yung ating eggplant sa ating sauce. So, incorporate na natin siya. Maraming salamat, Cook Ems, sa lagi pag suporta and uh, Bakit po ang Japan sila nag-invent ng betchin pero mahaba ang buhay nila? Sa kasabi po ni Anthony Bourdain, MSG is not bad. It's umami. Yes, it's umami. Kaya nga po ang sabi ko sa inyo, it's my personal preference. I'm not going to debate with uh, betchin if it's good or bad. Kung uh, ano ba tawag dito? Kung gusto nyo gumamit ng uh, betchin, it's good. No? So... Sabi ni Vince, ang kizukini si po usare o may terin siyeme. Alright, you can also add the 
zucchini if you have uh, zucchini but um uh, it's sweeter than than the eggplant right and uh but you can also use that and uh, you have to you have to uh include or uh to think that um zucchini has more water content than eggplant okay so uh, i'm not sure kung uh, magiging uh, i don't think it will be very crunchy so but if you prefer it's, al it's also okay you can mix both eggplant and zucchini para meron kayong uh, magkaibang uh, plaza all right so kung yeah we got it even you won't name it because it's like magic <laughs> In uh, Mediterranean, they don't use uh, vetchin, and they also use the Mediterranean diet, and uh, they are all healthy. They also they also have long lives, because based on the diet, because whatever you eat, you know, your body is like a temple. No, kwan yung kinakain mo yun din yung yung body mo. <laughs> so. Replace the bechin is brown sugar at patis. Yeah, brown sugar or just a little bit of, um, yeah, just su sugar. Like isang kutsarita ng brown sugar will do. In enhance dish. Okay, so I'm gonna off my fire and I'm gonna add our talong. Just mix it up. Wow. Check it out, guys. So, ang ganda. Ngayon, mag a pa ako ng lemon juice. Kasi yung nilagay natin kanina, nag-evaporate na yung kanyang acid. So, maglalagay ako ng uh, additional lemon juice para maging uh, fresh pa siya, yung freshness. And maging contrast dun sa ating marinade na ginamit kanina kasi medyo sweet siya, no? And sa bistek kasi gusto nating malasahan yung, yung acid, di ba? Hindi lang yung ating sauce. So, yun! We're almost done. Salute you, sir. Sabi ni August. Thank you very much. Good evening to gents. And uh, I think excessive use of MSG is not good. Yeah. Didn't realize that till I came here in China, literally uh, had an instant headache after eating Chinese food. Yes. So excessive usage is bad. Anything uh, too much is bad. <laughs> Ayan lagi, lagi ating isipin. And ngayon, since natapos na yung ating uh, cooking time, ipiplate na natin yung ating dish. Kasi yung onions, maglalagay ako ng konti. Kasi hindi naman natin lulutuin masyado yung uh, onions. Gusto natin yung medyo raw, no? Yung half, ihalo ko siya dito. So medyo maluluto siya ng heat. And you have gagawin natin decoration. So I'm gonna take my plate. I'm not sure if uh, you can see it well. I'm going to... Uh, all right. Can you see it, guys? Yeah. Awesome. Let's plate our bistec light. Mamma mia. I can smell the umami taste from this. From this dish. So I'm going to put more sibuyas. <laughs> I 
I'm going to cut some herbs. Kung meron kayong parsley. Cut lang natin siya. Nice. And there you have it. Yung ating distic light na ginamit. Yung ating eggplants na minarinate. Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood tonight. It's almost midnight here, sabi ni Mac T. <laughs> Nagutom si Mami Organic. And uh, for people with hypertension, less sodium intake para hindi tumaas ang blood pressure. Yes, that's the downside of uh, cons consuming too much uh, betchin, no? Uh, hypertension. So, let's try our bistic light. I uh, regret na hindi ako nag-prepare uh, ng, ng rice. Kasi I think this is perfect with uh, rice. Mmm! Wow. So good. Baliw lasa niya is uh, nag-aagaw yung um, tamis, yung asim, and yung tastiness niya, yung umami. So which I think yun yung ating goal sa dish na to. And light kasi gumamit tayo ng isang vegetable na we can use kapag wala tayong beef. Alright? So, sana na gusto yung recipe natin today. It's very simple. And dapat mag-prepare uh, mag kayo ng rice kung iluluto nyo to. <laughs> so, maraming maraming salamat ulit guys. So, ito yung ating live cooking today. This is Chef Morris and I will see you guys soon, alright? Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng sumusuporta. At sa mga bago, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel para tuloy-tuloy yung ating cooking session para marami pa akong may turo sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat po and happy cooking sa inyo lahat. Goodbye guys! <laughs>